So we recently had the opportunity to play a bit of Nintendo Switch Sports. We talked all about it in our preview discussion, but we decided to put together a handy video going over all the new details we learned about the game. So without further ado, here's 11 new details about Nintendo Switch Sports. The game only supports motion controls. Though you can play the game while in tabletop mode or on a Nintendo Switch Lite in handheld mode, you still need extra Joy-Cons to play with motion controls, as there's no button control scheme for this game. Much like the original Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, it's a motion control only game. While some sports only allow up to two players, all sports that allow for local multiplayer will split the screen accordingly, and it works pretty nicely. It's also pretty great that bowling can happen all at once if you have enough controllers. While you could totally just pass the same Joy-Con around for each person to take their turns, there was something nice about all four players just bowling at the same time. So the leg strap, which also came with Ring Fit Adventure originally, can be purchased online for $9.99. So if you own one already and need a second, or maybe you're buying the game digitally, you'll have a way to be able to get one so you can play soccer by actually kicking your leg. Now the digital version of Nintendo Switch Sports is $39.99, since it doesn't come with a strap. But the physical game does, so that one's $49.99. And if you already have one, you can still buy a second, because the game supports up to two leg straps for soccer mode, being one per player. So when trying to do your sets, serves, and spikes, and more in volleyball, you actually get these nice little visual indicators telling you if your timing's good, or a bit early, or a bit late. And it's really helpful, especially in the tutorial. Since this plays pretty much like actual volleyball, it helps to nail the timing. By making your opponent run to opposite ends of the court, you'll tire them out. You'll see there's some little sweat markers, and also they'll start to mess up. They can fall when lunging for the shuttlecock, for example. And then they won't get up in time to react to your next hit. And this seems to be the case for tennis as well. Though, we didn't really get a chance to experience enough of tennis to say if the hidden stamina system is there as well, but it's definitely there for badminton as we had it pointed out to us and they talked a little bit about it here. Because otherwise, we wouldn't have known. The gameplay mechanics for badminton and tennis are pretty similar, and they're a lot more nuanced and fleshed out than they were back in the original Wii Sports, which makes them a lot more fun to play, and this comes from a competitive standpoint as well. Different rewards can be obtained by playing the game each week. And this can be different character customization options, bowling balls, many different options for your character or for the different sports to make the gameplay more enticing. And this adds incentive for playing each week, getting rewards for the sports you're interested in. And since they swap out every week, it should help keep player engagement up for quite a while. So by winning multiple sports and games in a row, you'll get a win streak going. And by doing that, you'll just start earning rewards for winning faster. And this includes her ranked matches too. Though, there aren't any other rewards for ranked. Because ranked mode is just about bragging rights. Your rank will still affect the matchmaking and the exact players you'll encounter, but there's no explicit rewards tied to it. This is technically a good thing, because your rewards aren't locked behind reaching a high skill level. And besides, you can still play ranked mode, earn your win streak rewards, and get the in-game rewards to cycle out each week while all still playing ranked mode. So we got a full look at how the character customization works, and it's pretty similar to making a Mii. You can, of course, also just use a Mii character, but there's a lot of little options here that make it fun, and what we saw seems to be pretty early, but we know there'll be plenty more options unlockable through the game, such as different outfits. And that's pretty exciting, honestly. In addition to the character customization, though on a related note, you can also set titles for your character. These are kind of similar to the passports in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I went with so-called so-called, for example, just to be silly. Whereas TJ went with Party Dog. There's a lot of fun little pairings of titles you can set, and I'm sure there's even more that you can unlock as you go along. So we know that there's some sort of animal characters in the game, Early on, back at the reveal, we saw this squirrel-like character before. So when we asked about it, the Nintendo Treehouse reps laughed and teased us, saying, there will be more. They can't really say more than that, but they encourage us to play online and see what we come across. So it seems that these animal customizations for characters might be here in a large variety, and you'll probably encounter many of them online, so that should be pretty fun. And number 11, the Wii Sports theme is back. Since this game is the latest in the Wii Sports series, this shouldn't come as a surprise. 
But it was really nice to be sitting there playing this game and all of a sudden hear the iconic Wii Sports main theme. And there you have it, 11 details we learned about Nintendo Switch Sports. This game is shaping up to be a really exciting new motion control experience on the Switch, and I'm excited for it to be released. If you'd like more of our thoughts, check out our preview discussion. But anyway, what do you guys think? Did any of these new details surprise you? Let us know your thoughts down below, and be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for plenty more on Nintendo Switch Sports ahead of its release and when it also releases at the end of the month. Check out the videos on the right for more content you might be interested in. Until next time, farewell.